This video is about demonstrating the knowledge of area of parallelogram, triangle, trapezoid, rhombus, kite, circle, and regular polygon in solving word problems and applications using area of figures. Number one, we want to find the area of a triangle. To find the area of a triangle, it is one half base times height. So our base is the solid line right here, which is 72. We don't know the height yet, though. So we're going to use this triangle with the side of 65 to find the height using Pythagorean theorem. So when we do Pythagorean theorem, we have 65 squared equals h squared plus 25 squared. 4,225 equals h squared plus 625. When we subtract, we get 3,600 equals h squared. So h is 60. So our height is 60. So when we go find the area. We have 1 half of 72 times 60. Which gets us a total area of 1,000 or 2,160 feet squared. In number two, we have a trapezoid. So the area of a trapezoid is one half times base one plus base two times the height. So we don't know the height, so we're going to draw a height in here. We're going to bring our smaller base down. 13, 53 minus 13 is 40, so we can evenly split that the two triangle bases are 20. Then we can use one of these triangle bases to find the height of trapezoid. So when we do Pythagorean theorem, we have 25 squared equals 20 squared plus h squared. 625 is equal to 400 plus h squared, so h squared is 225, h is 15. So we go to substitute that in, we have our area equals 1 half 13 plus 53 times the height of 15. So we get 1 half of 66 times 15. So our area is going to be 495 meters squared. In number six, we're going to find the area of a regular hexagon, which is 1 half of popham times perimeter. So if we know the side, we can draw in our apothem to create our 30, 60, 90 triangle. The side splits into 9 and 9, which is the S value. So our apothem is 9 root 3. To get the perimeter, there are six sides that are 18 feet each. So we get perimeter of 108. So our area is equal to 1 half 9 root 3 times 108. Remember, don't put the root what? Three in your calculator, just multiply the other numbers. So we get 486 and then we put a root 3 at the end, squared. In number four, find the area of an isosceles triangle with a base of 8 if each leg is 5. So in an isosceles triangle, we have two congruent legs, which are 5 and 5, and we have a base of 8. We can draw in our height which is going to split the base into 4 and 4 so that we can do Pythagorean theorem. So we have 5 squared equals 4 squared plus h squared. 25 equals 16 plus h squared. h squared is 9, so h is 3. Height is 3, our base is 8. To find the area of a triangle, it is 1 half base times height. So we have 1 half times 8 times 3. 12 millimeters squared. In number five, find the area of a rhombus whose parallel, whose perimeter is 136 yards and has a diameter of 60 yards, or a diagonal of 60 yards. So when we draw our rhombus, we know that a rhombus has four congruent sides and the diagonals bisected. So if one diagonal is 60, that is bisected into 30 and 30. If our perimeter is 136, we can divide by four sides to get each side is 34. So we can do Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the missing diagonal. So 34 squared equals 30 squared plus x squared. 1,156 is equal to 900 x squared, so 256x squared, x is 16, so our 
diagonal length is 16 plus 16, which would be 32. So when we do the area, it is one half diagonal one times diagonal two. So one diagonal is 60, the other diagonal is 32. Remember, we're adding the pieces together. So we get an area of 960 yards squared. Number six, find the exact area of the kite. So we know that the shorter diagonal is bisected. We need to use Pythagorean theorem though to find the missing diagonal lengths. So we're gonna do Pythagorean theorem twice. First, we're gonna find the side with the triangle of 17 and 15. So we get 289 equals 225 plus x squared. x squared equals 64, so x is eight. Then we're gonna do Pythagorean theorem again. So 10 squared equals eight squared plus y squared. 100 equals 64 plus y squared. y squared is 36, so y is six. Kites have the same area formula as a rhombus, so it is one half diagonal one times diagonal two. So we have one half of 16, because eight plus eight times 21, which is six plus 15. So when we multiply, we get 168 millimeters squared. Find the area of the shaded region. So in number seven, we have two circles here. We want to find the area of the bigger circle minus the area of the smaller circle. So our bigger circle radius is 7. So 7 pi 7 squared minus pi 3 squared. Remember, we have to square our numbers first. So 49 pi minus 9 pi will get us 40 pi millimeters squared. In number 8, we have the area of a square minus the area of a circle. So in our circle, our diameter is 12 means the radius is six and six. If we put the diameter going horizontally, that means the other side of the square is also 12. So the area of a square is base times height, 12 times 12, which is 144, minus the area of a circle, pi r squared, so pi six squared, 36 pi. One is a number, one has pi, so they cannot combine together. In number nine, we have a rectangle with eight circles inside it. So we want the area of the rectangle minus the area of eight circles. So if our side length is 16, that means two diameters are put together to be eight and eight, which then means we can split that diameter in half to four and four. Now, if we stack four diameters on top of each other that are all eight, that means the missing side of the rectangle is 32. So to find the area of a rectangle is base times height, 16 times 32, which is 512, minus we have eight circles, which are pi r squared, so eight times pi four squared, so four squared is 16 times eight, will get us minus 128 pi eight squared. Again, we're going to leave it separate because one is a number and one has pi. In number 10, we have a square and a triangle inside it. So we want the area of the square minus the area of a triangle. So the area of a square is base times height, 8 times 8, which is 64. The area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. So our base of the triangle is 8. Our height is going from one side of the square to the other, so it's also 8. So 1 half 8 times 8, which will get us minus 32. So 32 inches squared. 